Hi guys, I hope you're all well. In this video, I want to discuss fat gain within a muscle building phase. Now, I want to discuss this from a couple of different angles. The first of which is just understanding that some fat gain is perfectly normal within a muscle building phase. But the second angle I want to look at it from is not gaining body fat unnecessarily and actually focusing on a weight gain target suitable to your training age so, so you actually minimize this fat gain. Firstly, we'll address understanding that some fat gain is normal within a muscle building phase. Now, from this standpoint, I think a lot of people just have false assumptions of what is attainable within a muscle building phase in the sense that they feel like they can build all of their muscle and not gain any body fat at all. And this is just a false misconception. I think you just need to appreciate that some fat gain is normal within a muscle building phase just because we're in a chronic energy surplus. We're consuming more calories than we're burning. And as such, some fat gain is perfectly normal. And I think the way to get around this is just to accept this psychologically. I think, like I mentioned, people have a false understanding of what they can achieve as a drug-free trainee within a muscle building phase in terms of staying ultra lean and building muscle. It just doesn't happen. So trying to appreciate this mentally before going into the muscle building phase should hopefully help. Now, with that being said, the other angle I want to look at this from is actually to make sure you're not gaining body fat unnecessarily. On the flip side, you've got two different camps. You have people that try and stay too lean within a muscle building phase and then other individuals that unnecessarily gain body fat within a muscle building phase. And by that I mean you want to try and focus on a weight gain target suitable for your training age. So obviously the more advanced you become, the more difficult it becomes to build muscle. As such, you should be aiming for a lower monthly weight gain target or not even a weight gain target at all, which I'll discuss shortly if you're an advanced trainee. So that's real, really the key to looking at it from this angle is if you're one of those individuals that are just unnecessarily gaining body fat, make sure you're actually having a weight gain target suitable to your training age. So for example, if you're a beginner, focusing on a one, one to three pound monthly gain is an excellent place to start. If you're an intermediate, someone with six months to two years weight training experience, focusing on a one to two pound per month weight gain target. Now, if you're an advanced trainee, someone with more than two years weight training experience, you really wanna focus on gym performance, increasing strength and volume over time, eating enough, to recover from them sessions so you can continue making those strength and volume gains, but you're not actively having a weight gain target. Otherwise, you're going to gain a lot of unnecessary body fat. So that is really the key determining factor for minimizing fat gain within a muscle building phase, is actually focusing on a weight gain target suitable to your training age. For example, if you're an advanced trainee, yet you're trying to gain muscle mass at the rate of a beginner, you're just gonna gain so much body fat if you're aiming for a one to three pound per month target. However, as I mentioned at the start, the other side is you need to appreciate that some fat gain is normal within a muscle building phase because you're in a chronic energy surplus. So hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as we've got lots more content coming. Thank you very much.